Hello, everybody. This is the Illuco IDS 1100 Dermatoscope. I'm just going to show you the equipment today to learn how to use it in more detail and to interpret what you see. Do come along to one of the PCDS Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. So this is the Illuco IDS 1100. That's the end plate of it and when it arrives it comes with a blue protective film over the end plate so if you turn it on and everything looks blue you need to remove that protective film that's over the end plate to turn this one on it's very straightforward there is an on off switch which is clearly labeled which will turn it on and then on this side we have another switch which says p that stands for polarization so, so to switch it to polarized mode you press that and the little blue light comes on to tell you it's in polarized mode. Press it again to switch it back to non-polarized mode, to non-polarized. On this side, there is a little uh, marker here that has a brightness switch and you press that to alter the brightness. There are three brightness settings on this, which means it's ideal for a variety of users because brightness settings tend to be a matter of personal preference. And certainly people who have migraines will prefer a slightly lower brightness setting. To focus it, I'm just gonna turn it off so I turn it sideways. To focus it, you twist this and the end plate extends like that. There is no marker to show you when it is extended to the perfect amount to focus for a flat lesion. So you do have to put it on and check the focus manually yourself. The end plate is completely enclosed. So if you don't take it off, you're not going to get dust on the inside of the end plate. But if you have got a very vascular lesion um, or one where you don't want to compress the surface vessels, then you can remove the end plate very simply by just pulling it off. There we go, comes off beautifully. You can then clean it if you need to, and you can use it like that straight onto the skin without the end plate on if you don't want to compress the top of the vessels. To put the end plate back on again is very straightforward. It attaches magnetically and just clips on like that. So you can't put it on, sort of half put it on so it's gonna fall off again. It's held on very securely by those magnets, works beautifully. There is a small contact plate available for it. I don't have it to show you because it doesn't come as standard with it. Um, and you can manage perfectly well without it. The field, the useful field size on this, although it has this very large end plate, in fact, the useful field size is much smaller. And you may be able to see here, there is a circle there that goes around, you can just see the graticule within it, there's a circle there that goes around. And that is the useful field size of um, the end plate. That's a very helpful circle because when you attach your phone or your camera to it, that's what you're looking for being lined up and looking circular so that you know that it's perfectly lined up. And that's a really useful feature. And to attach it to a camera phone, there is an adapter um, specifically for the Iluco IDS, which is a small magnetic thing that then sticks onto a phone. It will also work with the Dermlight adapters. So here, for example, is a Dermlight case for an iPhone, which attaches to it magnetically very beautifully. And here, for example, is the Dermlight universal phone adapter, which again, attaches to it magnetically very beautifully. I'm just going to demonstrate with this one now. When you have the phone attached, you can still focus the scope. You can still move this quite easily. So you can adjust the focus when you've got the phone attached. And the other important thing is that if you've got the phone attached and it's perfectly focused, but you want to adjust the angle that the phone is on in order to take the picture, you can move the phone around and it does not alter the focusing of the dermatoscope. The charger type that it uses is a standard mini USB, the same as many mobile phones. And so you're unlikely to get caught without a charger if you um, find it's uncharged for some reason. And it is a good size 
for being pocket sized or holding in your hand. It's slightly bigger than my hand, as you can see, um, but will fit nicely into a pocket. It doesn't come with its own case, but you can get a case separately. Um, and this is a particularly good scope for use by multiple people who aren't terribly used to using dermatoscopes because it's so well labelled and very user friendly. Um, and this is I an ideal scope, I would say, for a general practice surgery wanting to share a scope between lots of different people. So that's this piece of equipment um, to learn how to use it in more detail and to learn how to interpret what you see. Do come along to one of our Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. We also do lots of other courses on Dermoscopy and general dermatology. And you can find details of all of the courses on the PCDS website, which is pcds.org.uk. So that was the Iluco IDS 1100 Dermatoscope.